Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Well, if you are a Linux purist, you're just going to want to skip right over this video because we're going to be talking about Microsoft Office, uh, MicrosoftOutlook.com, and Microsoft in general with the recent release of Outlook.com as a PWA app. Why does this matter for Linux that Microsoft is least releasing a progressive web app? And for those of you not aware of, of what that's all about, it's essentially taking a web page, in this case Outlook.com, converting it over to a progressive web app, which allows you with one click to install it on, in this case, a Linux desktop. Now how this works is you use the Chrome, Chrome browser, Microsoft's own Edge browser, or Chromium, or Chrome in Linux, and with one click, it goes from being inside of your web browser to interacting more like a traditional native application. In my case, it's the KDE Plasma desktop, and it works just like any other app. You can maximize, minimize, drag the window to you know, divide multiple windows, that kind of thing. And I gotta say, it's just enough to really make it, after you've used it for a while, feel like an app. Um, in the past, I've used Evolution as my email handler, and that works great with Microsoft Exchange, but this may be a good option for someone out there who, you know, they don't like Evolution, they don't wanna learn something new, uh, maybe they're currently using uh, Microsoft Outlook. I think this is gonna maybe be able to pull some people over and allow them, well not pull them over, but allow them to maybe even use Linux full time if they so desire. Now for the future of PWA, I think it's got a bright future. I think we may even see Microsoft consider say Office 365 if they release that. And so maybe you've got an app or, or excuse me, maybe you're using Excel or something like that and you're just not keen on learning a new Linux office suite, or maybe there's something where the transition just isn't 100% for your needs, you know, an Excel or something like that, or a PowerPoint where things just don't fall into place. Perhaps a PWA released by Microsoft for Office 365 would do the trick, and again, allow someone to use the desktop of their choice and just incorporate PWA. So I think they have a bright future. I think we're going to see more or hear more about PWAs in the future. So it's something I think we should keep our eye on. All right, we're going to jump over and take a quick look on what this looks like set up on the Linux desktop. Okay, so if you're running Linux and you want to install a PWA, in this case we're talking about Outlook.com, you're going to want to install Chrome or Chromium. And for this video, I've got Chromium set up. And the next thing you'll do is navigate to your Office 365 Outlook or your Outlook.com account. And as you can tell here, no, not all of my emails are Chick-fil-A. I just set up a filter so that uh, you, you snoopers couldn't read my, uh, my email. So once you're there and logged in and all set, what you'll find here where this open link is in place will be a plus sign or a symbol resembling a plus sign. You'll click on that and in a matter of seconds, the Outlook.com PWA will be installed on your system. Now, if I choose this since it's already installed, I can open with Outlook. So it's showing as if Outlook is installed on my system. All right, and then from there, we'll move on over. And once that's done, you should see, and this depends on your desktop, but you should see an icon on your desktop if you have that capability. Uh, various desktops in Linux, some have that on by default. Others, they're turned off. But what you'll also find is in your application launcher, a Chromium Apps link. And here we see Outlook with the Outlook icon which I then pinned down here to the taskbar. So next up, we're gonna take a look at what you'll see once you launch in, and it's treated just like an app. I can remove this from the taskbar, add it up to the desktop if need be, so on and so forth, just like a regular app. So here we've launched into the PWA app of Outlook.com, or in this case, my business Office 365 account, and Things I wanted to point out here is that once this is set up, and again, it's really quick, really easy, as you saw earlier. 
for the most part, it just works like any other native app would. You minimize, maximize. Um, here we have, now this is one little issue I found. So this should be, you know, window size. But again, here you're treating this like any other KDE app. So I can drag that to whatever size I desire. You'll notice there are no tabs up here like you'd find in the browser. And if you drag to your window, it's going to fill uh, certain areas just like any other app. It's fast. I'm not going to say it's as fast as a native app may be, but everything I've done here um, is fluid and fast and it just it feels enjoyable to use. Now I'm not going to switch to calendar contacts and tasks because again, I don't want to share all of that information with the World Wide Web, but you get the idea here. The nice thing is when you launch into these different parts of Outlook.com, it stays within the same window. So the interaction is good, acts like a native app, and maybe for many of you watching this, this is kind of just the thing you've been looking for to get you, um, you know, most of the way there in running Linux day in, day out. Now, as for myself, I'm not quite sure that this is going to replace evolution. Uh, time will tell. I'm going to use this for a while. I want to give it a fair shake. All right, well, I hope that helps. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we will check you later.